Hi guys. Hello, hello. Come on in. Take a seat. The big idea is to get kids involved in STEAM, science, technology, engineering, architecture, and math, which is our future. We have been working on exploring insulation. Okay, and for my new guys, have you ever heard of that word, insulation? No? Our goal is just to have a non-judgmental place for them to kind of just explore these realms. Just a pressure-free environment for them to really get into these fields. I never heard engineering before, apart from engineering trains and all that. I guess to me it's like to prepare um, kids for engineering and also like to learn how to work together and use the engineer design process. This semester we focus on insulating modular homes. My favorite part about this club is the projects. Instead of just reading about it, we're actually investigating it with our own selves. Where's the heat coming from? Oh, the lamp. The lamp. And where is the lamp? From the it's from, it's gonna be it's like the top. From the top. So you guys to want to make sure. Here, so yeah. This is good. That captures air. Yeah, so it's good. My classes don't involve the engineering process, and these activities are more creative. Many kids want to learn about many things, for example, engineering, and maybe they don't have the opportunity or chance to learn what we're doing now. I think it's extremely important for them to connect with students in the sixth grade at this age right now because they still have so much room to grow. It's given my sixth graders a platform to find ownership in projects and to feel successful in completing a mission. It helps me with my other classes. It's the group work that helps me because it's communicating with your peers. Communicating their ideas is the number one thing we try to tell them. You can't communicate. Nothing in the process of designing anything is going to actually happen. Having the Department of Design and Construction is a huge benefit for us here at 127. It allows us to build more on the community. We're able to interact with members of our community. For example, our councilwoman, we are able to connect to her, allow her to come in. Julissa for... for Rivera. Okay, where is she, Julissa? Yeah, she's a member of our community, and she's the one who made this program possible. Thanks for coming, guys. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Sumaya, and I want to invite you to our sure. program, the Young Engineer Demo. Absolutely. Awesome, thank you. And I've been speaking with Jillian. We have it on the schedule for the council member to attend. Um, she's very excited about it, too. We're glad that you guys are working on this. Okay. Thank you. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Thank you. This after school program, especially for this middle school, is really teaching my kids tremendous things. And I am so grateful for having this after school program in my building. The students have taken a very difficult concept and they explain it to others. You can imagine how difficult and complex process is that and all your students have been able to master it. We have our own very good ideas. And if we don't share it with others, they don't know what we want to do. If you can't communicate your ideas, your dreams and aspirations, you can't reach them. We give them the confidence to explore. 